Good morning. Welcome back to the Den of Iniquity that is Ken Shavy and BSing, home of your original Big Shape Best Champion. It is Monday, August 13th, and we've had in San Antonio here a storm front that came through last night. Thankfully, I didn't have to drive home in the brunt of it, but it picked up real heavy, like like uh, half a mile from my house at most. So it was, it was okay getting home from where I was, about 30 minutes away. Now, I'm going to bring you a scent today that is kind of one of my, it's really one of my favorites and a sleeper from shaving shop in the club called El Gaucho. Leather and citrus and I don't know what other notes are in here. I'm sure it's still on the website, but this one may be disappearing before we know it because uh, Peter's making some changes. He's got stuff on sale. I think he's, uh, if I recall, if I remember correctly, this may be an Oleo Soapworks base. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it is. And uh, the vegan, I think it's vegan base that uh, the Vita makes. And it's a really great soap, great scent combo. I'd call it a daytime or um, more of a cooler, maybe a fall type scent, like early fall. Um, not before it starts getting cold in parts of the country. Or a casual, you know, fall into a mild winter scent. But it's going to be a, a, about 15 degrees cooler than it has been. Um, because of that front and I think this would be a nice scent. It's kind of in the office. It's masculine. It's rugged Has a little citrus to go with it. So and it's really one of my favorite scents that uh, Peter has put out in the last two years or so And with that we're going to use some other club products. We're going to use the assassin brush with the game changer knot and the assassin razor with a one shave down Wismet blade my two days growth so this is where I go to something like this or the Phoenix shaving uh, prismatic for example two to three days growth is right in the wheelhouse for this so we're gonna wet the face if you saw my thank you video yesterday you know I went to a wrestling show and a lot of fun I got to see Chavo Guerrero Jr. who if you're a wrestling fan at all worked in the he worked in WCW before it went under, then went to WWE. And now he's, um, he's around my age, I think mean, he's mid 40s. Well, I'll say he's in his mid 40s now. And uh, he's working independent shows all over the world and Lucha Underground, which previous seasons were on Netflix and it's shown on the El Rey Network if your cable provider carries El Rey, which I only have to see on Netflix because I don't get El Rey. You have to pay for it. It's another tier, which I'm not going to pay for. <laughs> but uh, it was really cool. I, got, I was sitting right at ringside up close. And I and for those who are a little more independent wrestling fans and more recent fans, um, we got the Joey Ryan. He's known as the uh, world famous dick wrestler and the king of dong style. And if you're curious enough to figure out what that is, you can, you can just look up Joey Ryan on YouTube or Google him. He's got an odd gimmick, and um, it's hard to explain without, you know, well, basically, it's a, it's kind of a comedic gimmick where apparently his penis has power and he can channel his strength through it and eventually make someone do a penis plex by getting a hold of it and then doing some hip gyrations and the guy flips over. Of course, it's all in good fun. It's a goof. He put over a local guy, which is really neat. He runs a promotion called Pro Wrestling Gorilla out of, uh, out of the Los Angeles area. And uh, I got a picture with him. He's, he was a nice guy. He, I guess he was kind of on the move, but he took a few pictures with the folks. Chavo stayed inside autographs. I couldn't stay for that part because I, I was going cross town to get home. But it was fun. I had an old buddy, just the ring announcer, a real good dude. That is actually a local here, but we met in Georgia, oddly enough. So it was a good time. Nice and fun. Always, always contributing to a local business. Got a good show. Got out of the house, you know. Okay, so let's uh, paint on and we'll start adding water. This is not a, while it is a leather forward note, the citrus gives it a balance. And it's not like a shoe leather. I don't know how to describe it. It's very unique, but it's. And I really do enjoy it. It is, it is what I consider a very masculine scent. Um, very much a 
get a rugged note out of it. I think it fits the billing of El Gaucho. I don't know the origins of the scent. Like it's a based on a cologne like Peter's known to do. And that's just because of, I haven't looked it up in a while. I just know I enjoy it. Peter is redoing the shaving shop website and his original shaving shop stuff is going away. I think he's narrowing it down to the club and Ariana and Evans along with, of course, you have the back room. I think he's going to retool that, but the, the exclusives for the people who signed up for the six month discount part of the club, which I rejoined a month or so ago. I wanted the Spartacus and SoCal Hipster Splashes, and so I went ahead and signed up, got the discount on those. I believe it's like 20%, and you pay like $16.95 for $12.95. I can't remember the price, but it's less, it's it's either less than or close to 15 bucks. I want to say it's $12.95 for six months, and then it auto renews unless you cancel. I'm going to get a little more water and uh, build this up. But uh, I think the club is a lot of fun. The initial run of it was a little different. You could sign up for a different amounts monthly or an annual. And he repackaged it. And he, his original idea, he you know he was doing a kind of a order and drop ship kind of a mode. And turned out that didn't work. And then he went and focused on his own brands. And then. Came up with his retail arm for Ariana and Evans, which is a great idea because he's in Q Brothers and some other shops and the West Coast Shaving, and I think he's done a fabulous job. If you haven't tried his, was it towel lanolin goat's milk formula soaps? Do yourself a favor and please do. Your skin will thank you. <laughs> Got a lot of soap going here. Paint is on. This is a great soap base too. This uh, this oleo vegan. I believe it's the oleo vegan. Like I said, correct me if I'm wrong. Please do. <laughs> I, don't, I, I believe it is. Anybody see one CDB's last video is Asian Plum? <laughs> uh, I left a note for him. The man has uh, remarried, <laughs> and congrats to him. He's looking great, looks like he's happy. What can you say, right? That's fantastic for him. So there we go, good things always happen. All right, let's get into the shave here. The Assassin's a mid-aggressive razor for my skin type. Some people don't get along with it. Oh, just a little shout to Ross McBee. I know I've said this before when you see me use the Assassin in the last like six months or so. He didn't get along with it. He sent me his head after mine had a, the uh, the uh, thread piece broke off the, the cap. And uh, he sent me his. We made a little trade of some other stuff. <laughs> Later. So I owe Ross for uh, for keeping my assassin going. He also sent me uh, what is Fortitude. I'm Soap Commander. I didn't know if I like, but I I think I, I end up liking it from the sample. Never used just smelling it, and then of course now I have a tub. And I bought the matching balm later. Nice first pass. Blade is really comfortable in this. Uh, this 
Wisdomit, um, I don't know if it's basically a pole silver. It certainly looks like from the labeling. Uh, when, when I'm done with this blade, I'll go to a pole silver next. We'll do a quick side by side, so I'll keep this blade handy. I know it's very comfortable. It feels like a full silver in most regards. I don't know if it's just the, or the, it's a 10 blade tuck, so I don't know if it's just the, the tuck difference or there is an actual edge difference. Like I said, we'll compare in another shave or two and when I break out a full silver next, just to, just for my education along with anyone else that may have a question on it. Wearing a Soap Commander shirt today. My larges are starting to fit. They're not exactly perfect where they need to be, but in about 10 pounds or so, they'll be back. I have a lot of larges, grunt style. Um, and, uh, why am I blanking? <laughs> Some of the shaving shirts. You know what? Give me a sec. I'm going to step out. Hang on. I'll be right there. <laughs> uh, why is my blank? So sharp limited. Duh. <laughs> Sorry, David, if you watch. I don't know why I blanked on that, brother. <laughs> but I got like three or four. I got four larges in the So Sharp Limited. I got the So Commander one. I've got Grunt Styles. I've got a, some brewery shirts from New Hampshire that, that, I, that I wear, and they're all larges. But 10 more pounds, they'll be fitting pretty nicely again. So I've lost 13 pounds now, which I'm excited about. And we're going to keep it going. So. I'm getting towards nutritional ketosis and trying to get to the term I just read last night, ketogenesis, where you're actually burning the fat for energy. So my body is, if it's not starting, to, it's starting to transition. It's probably getting close. I mean, 13 pounds in a month seems like a really good, I mean, I did as much, I did as much in a month when I, uh, See, what did I lose? Uh, 55 pounds by the time I went to uh, Big Shave West, and that was, I started January 3rd, and that was April, let's say I traveled on the, like the 18th, so it was April 20th last year for Big Shave West 3. So that was three and a half months, but I was doing an hour at the gym like every day, except for like seven days in total that whole time, and, and eating, you know, Nutrisystem, and, and there were carbs in it, and I was, and I mean, in three and a half months, I may not lose, I don't need to lose, you know, 55 this time, I'm perfectly good with, you know, if I get three and a half months, and then I lose 35, that's perfect, that's exactly my target. And then kind of doing either a, basically a 20 and 4 intermittent fasting type daily or a one meal a day, an OMAD as they call it. But I only, I only go to the gym like Sometimes six days a week, but mostly four to five times a week. And I work out for 30 minutes. So. <laughs> ah. Just cruising along here.
Nice and slick. I want to say the Assassin is twenty nine ninety five. If I remember correctly, I just looked fairly recently, like a couple days ago. So I was looking at what changes Peter was working on for the website. I'm sure they're on the back end, so it didn't look any different at the time. But I'm sure when he gets back from vacation or holiday, he's <laughs> we'll see what he does. And it's basically kind of pop metal. We clicked right away, instantaneous um, shave love with me and this razor. All right, we're going to do a light third pass. I needed a break because uh, Saturday's shave, you know, gave me a decent amount of feedback. Although it ended up being a really good shave. But you got to give that skin a break. And on weekends when you're just being casual, it's, it's you know... Days two, day or two of growth, gonna be fine. All right. While I'm doing this, thank you again to all the subscribers, all the new subscribers, all the ones that have been there since the beginning, getting me over to home to five thousand. I'm. I gotta admit, I may be jinxing it. I ain't expecting just all of a sudden like people to pull the rug out from under me and just say no. <laughs> Thank you nonetheless to all of you. I mean, I always look at shaving videos and say, who seriously watching guys shave? But you realize that community is pretty big out there. And like you've heard others say, it's not just what's on Facebook, there's Reddit, which are not a fan of, but you got Facebook, Instagram, all the other. We got a little irritation right here because I went in at a funky angle and uh, and rubbed it. I ended up being a tiny weeper. That will close with the water and the alum. Okay. I'm right here. 
I'm gonna go in with just a, take a little off the brush. We're gonna a little residual slickness, which there's a lot of on my face, so that you don't see, you can't really tell. All right. <laughs> Get that alum block out. I gotta next order whatever I order. Gotta get some alum. All right. Feedback was not bad. Um, around the mustache and chin, but there's a, there's a little focus there. residue in the mouth. Sorry. But overall, large surface areas, very little feedback, a tiny weeper closed. And since we got, whew, excuse me, since we've got a kind of a citrus note going, let's use a little Lucky Tiger aftershave and face tonic initially. More of a straight orange, but it's a good note to go with. Uh, I didn't want to use the mentholated uh, witch hazel aloe from uh, with the orange chill from Sterling today. Rinse the brush out. go to the El Gaucho aftershave. They used a decent amount of it, you know, for as many soaps as I have, because it's kind of one of my go-tos at the club. This is the kind of stuff you, you throw on some chuck -a boots and jeans and, you know, uh, <laughs> Maybe a denim shirt or something, kind of just rugged masculine. Go out, you know, in a nice fall day. Really, really good stuff. Let that dry down. Between that and the Lucky Tiger, my face will be nice and moisturized. I'll let that settle for a second. And... With that, I think we're done. So let's recap here while I'm thinking about it. So we had El Gaucho from the club, Peter Charcalis. I think this is on sale, so get it. If, if you're looking for something leather, citrus, fall in particular. If you got cool falls, great scent for the daytime. The Assassin Razor and Brush with a 24, what's a 24 or 22, can't remember. A Game Changer Knot. with a Wismet Super Radium Extra Stainless Blade. <sighs> Keep that out here for discussion purposes. And in between the, after, the shave and the aftershave, a little Lucky Tiger aftershave and face tonic. Gives you a little layer of moisture. So again, thanks a lot. Um, again, great scent. Get it if you're looking for something like that. And those notes, I think you won't be disappointed. You may catch it on sale. So, uh, again, thanks for all the subscribers making it 1,000. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Cheers. Too sweet to the good brothers and good sisters out there. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, really. All of you who thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, lurk. I know you're out there. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, take care. I will see you in the next video. Um, might be tomorrow, 
My, it'll be tomorrow. It'll probably be a very light shave, maybe something in, in, a, in a two pass just to keep it nice and fresh. But I'll see you again for the next shave. Take care, my friends. Champ loves you. Bye.